I don't know what just happened there, but uh, hopefully it it's good. Never in Pomrid's presence. Should be good to continue though. Such familiarity offensive. When it came back up, it's almost as if like the screen locked and then unlocked. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tucson. Jeez. Okay. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir the Peyrak Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Geralt. Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrak Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask her, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? Oh, who's what? that? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his house on them. While you were gallivanting about the north, was that his Yennefer? vineyard was auctioned off. No. No, definitely not. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. All right, let's go Thanks examine the body. Mentality. Time I examined the corpse. I'm so back and forth on whether oh, taking the glasses off or not. Near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road <laughs> and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah. Duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me. Even before we departed for Venice. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted mm. to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Do you know the colors? Go to Corvo Bravo. Damon, the body captain and seller.
I'm just curious, so how many quests are there for this one? Blood and wine, which are three. Quests. I don't want secondary quests. Whoa, there's a list of secondary quests. Oh man. But then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. And the man from Centra is just about halfway. Okay. Sounds like we won't be completing it today. <laughs> Which is what it is. That's it, Roach. Let me check uh fast travel. Oh well, we're not going that far, so that's okay. The beast of Tucson. I'm glad I played Hearts of Stone. Sounds of fight. Have to hurry. I actually really enjoyed that DLC. Oh boy. Uh damn it. Kill it must still be here. Throat torn open by man like jaws. Man like, except for long fangs. In the cellar, gotta be. What happened? Footprints. <laughs> Small bare feet lead deeper into the cellar. What is this the woman that we saw? You saw you at the inn. Yep. She is the monster. Why'd you kill these people? Clearly wasn't for their blood. Is that her hand, or...? Definitely wasn't. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. <laughs> I cannot let you leave. Oh. Ow. Oh, you got lucky. Ah. Holy crap, dude. I can barely see her. Again, she got lucky. Okay, Predator. Killed all these men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? Can't even see her body. Streaming PCs fan is like going haywire. Waterlogged. And hear it. It goes amputated. Comes on for like ten seconds, really hot, and then goes off. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch bulging with coins. Elf guardian florins from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, 
but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing? Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. More of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. We're just gonna keep this hand on us. So, Murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, Pouch shoved down the He looks throat. and talks like a mad, a mad scientist right now. And why was he chopped up into pieces? <laughs> Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. Uh, I wish I would have stayed for a second. That would have been a great uh, point to take a screenshot. Okay, so find Almerin. Ask you to take him to the Duchess. Ask him to take you to the Duchess. Okay, yeah. I read that correct. Yeah, they really just like straight up bumped up the saturation for all these for this entire area which it it does look cool but i think it's a little much honestly um one thing i was curious about i was actually thinking this earlier isn't there like a a command photo mode game filter Where is it? It's the e buying shortcuts. Same replay. There's like one for Alt F3. Maybe that's it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. What? What? Yeah, that's crazy. Cartoon? Huh. Black and white? Yo. Like literally, this is how the the rest of the game looks. The rest of the game looks like this, <laughs> but then they're like, "Nope, we're gonna up the saturation." The rest of the game literally looks like this. That's interesting. What other stuff do they have? Fake HDR. Herbs. It's interesting. Green screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god, please. Let's get rid of this. That's funny. It just makes the, the background of the environment a green screen. Depth of field. That's kind of cool. You can... Give it a really, whoa. Let me see. It's like a super focus on, on Geralt. <laughs> you can't even see what's going on over their head. Whoa, that's crazy. I remember seeing the update for this. There's one that was like really cool. Night mode. Oh, that's like, uh. Yeah, yeah, I know what that is. Letterbox. 
That's sick. You want to make like a movie or something? Glitch. <laughs> oh man. A mount. Yep. <laughs> Let's just play the game like this. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it seems fine. Everything's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't even find where that's at. Split screen? What could that do? Woo. That's some like R setting. Adaptive fog. Is it just like change the fog in the diff in the distance? It looks kinda cool with the fog though. Border. Make pass details. Whoa, that's uh, too sharp. Emphasize <laughs> everything nearby you. This is actually this is like a perfect game to to use one of these settings on old film. That'd be cool to use on like uh. GTA, not GTA, uh, Red Dead Redemption, the old film one. Split screen stickers, Technicolor. I honestly might use one of these for like the vibrance. That's cool. Oh my gosh. That like hurts. Levels plus. Makes some things too dark. Special effects. What we got here? Retro. Getch. Halftone. Perfect. <laughs> There was one that was like retro neon. I think this is it. Yeah. Dude, that's wild. Oh no. Wait. Okay. I just want to see what this looks like. What? That is something else. Retro neon filter in that's pretty cool. Glow color, you can change the color, dude. Look at that. Red. That's pretty cool. Imagine playing the entire game just like this. Using the retro neon filter with NVIDIA uh, experience. Shadow play. It does look really cool though. It's different. I can't wait to try that in like uh, their next game. Cyberpunk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the radar effect thing. Night mode. I just want to see if there's, is there any other hint. The tint actually looks good. I think it actually makes it look a little bit better. Remove. 
remove HUD beta. Huh. Actually, it works. Watercolor. <laughs> Home green. I really like that tint. Strength. Let's actually use this. Put it to... So that's normal. Put it right there. Alright. Well, that's enough of playing around with that. That's cool. Some really neat settings that you can do that can make for some uh, unique experiences. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerine. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tales for another time. But, take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? <clears throat> yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The cutter of Casteldaccia, too. Moral victory. That's what counts. Rubbish! Now, mm -hmm. that will do for questions. Go find your parents. <laughs> Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. I got the spectacles. <laughs> Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shamar? With only some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? What I thought is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. I saw the spectacle of the sort of the arena in Nunez. There, a nice piece of the Shelmar with bells on its tail. Might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? Only a witcher has a real chance against a healthy Shelmar. And that's not even every witcher. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a crowd? Plain irresponsible. Let's go. We can take it on. I still kind of want to find a setting to turn down the saturation. Can we do it while it's in the cutscene? I, can. Dedicate my imminent victory I wish you could like turn it on and off. That's how you can tell. Yeah, we can honestly just get rid of that. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. Oh god. We must wait. Oops. That's pretty cool. Like watching a movie. Damn it. Oh man. 
We have to help him. All right, show time. Salmar. Gotta keep it down. Got him. Nice. Defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. You can make some pretty cool presets. The last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. Oh, no. Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Garrett the Merciful. Pikeman, see to the beast. That's pretty cool. They accept that. Came down to close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt. We must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later. In the medic's tent. Get up, I might get it without the text. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But wherever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> <sighs> yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. <laughs> ah, the very man we would entrust with his tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir De La Tour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defending I solve problems. our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, 
We settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise? It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. It's fair enough. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. <sighs> Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery's bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. First victim. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crespi was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Oof. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine Crispy. Merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He mm. had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second victim. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, an amateur. but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon Dulac! A knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. Victims, both older knights. So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. Sir he DLC. A fortune in the grain <laughs> trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Similarities between the victims seem to be more Lots and more of them. Similarities between the victims. 
All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the... Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Ah. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds, or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and De Lac formed the knightly team. It was years ago, but... Your Grace, we need to find Milton. Immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start. And he's disguised as the hare. Hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Oh boy. What's she stepping? Your Grace! <gasps> oh, she didn't step in anything. She just ripped off. <laughs> Okay, one sec. I just want to check something. All right, we're good. What the hell? Why I should? Your Highness, I. Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. <laughs> okay. He was just holding on to it. He literally didn't do anything. Oh, okay. good. Grace seems right at home in the saddle. No place like home. <laughs> it's 
It's a pretty big palace. Participants must find right, a, the way. a golden fish and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. I mean we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. While well, I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. <laughs> Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It runs around over there. Look. <laughs> the golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? It's like the most... Then let's get to it. Interesting, different style to to find this guy yes. morning, oh, evening. Even though it's uh, oh, even though it's afternoon. Yo, what's going on, Dev? How you been, man? What is good, my dude? Happy Saturday. If one were to call a state courageous or coward, what other part of the state would one have in mind? Uh, but this is no. Okay, so we need to get the horn from this unicorn. Then it's perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in. Happy Saturday to you too. Thank you, my dude. Were you still a How you been? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Anything Even new? Now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks, Shh. gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> Just calm it. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, you should have used Axie. Come on, stay calm. What? Wait, that should have worked. Easy now. Congrats on the engagement. Very happy and I've been Thank you. Appreciate it. Been good, nothing new. Well, Same here. Other fair. than that. <laughs> Pretty much. Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs. One piece of hair that's this scamp some proper I don't know where it went. Didn't break any, didn't rules. break any rules. True. He won fair and square. We were unlucky. That's all. We must try to grab the next clue. <laughs> that worked. Thank you, though. Dude, it was awesome. Like, it was like a perfect day for that, too. At Valley Forge. It was so nice. I went to New York City last weekend. Did some new stuff. Uh, hit up this super cool spy museum. That was actually really interesting. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much be been all I've been up to. I'm looking forward to uh, to the big day sometime next year, probably. Definitely that one. Candy. <laughs> Never mind. Not that one. Ugh, come on. 
toffee. Nope. Oh, come on. Candy. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. This has to be it. Yep. You would see it sparkling. What? No way. Somebody just got it. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. Hey, wait. Stop. King it's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Pretty cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> a key. Perfect. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Disgraceful. Just run up, grab the, the fish, break it in front of them. Under Duke Raymond's rule, such is positively useless. She can't possibly see. I have a bad feeling for the Highness. Never played The Witcher or seen the show. I'm slacking. Bruh. The game, I mean, the show is short enough where it's worth watching, and the game is long enough and fun enough where it's worth playing. So, yeah. I suggest it. I forgot how much I actually liked the game until I started peace, playing it again. We do Honestly, not too. Please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. I am the rules. <laughs> Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. So, closing this up. Okay. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Groan hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a hard head of cheese. Someplace cramped. Is it about someplace really cramped, uncomfortable? I know The Witcher is very cheap right now, but I don't know if it's my cup of tea. Did you play Assassin's Creed Odyssey or anything like that? It's like Skyrim where I know it's a good game, but I don't enjoy playing it. Okay. But starting with what heads heart cheese. Why it's greenhouse. Pretty clever, and it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses mm. in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks, and the key to it looks just like the one we found. I think we're dropping frames from... Let's go. It looks like we are. Yeah, it is very open world like that, but... I mean, the gameplay is a lot different than Skyrim 2, though. Like, it's a lot more, uh... I think it's pretty smooth for the most part. Uh oh. Edward scissor hands. Oh boy. What the Yeah, that's pretty sick though. Never gotten into AC either. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What is there any RPG games that you actually like? If you don't like Skyrim or anything. Whoa, that thing is crazy. It looks like a vampire. I kind of want to replay Vampire one day. Vampire. That was a fun game.
I'm here. And talk with me. This belong to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they enjoyed it, yes, so for the short time I played, but not my friends had it. What do you mean, they? Duchess, Hyde yeah, You've been that happens. Subject. <laughs> Same. <laughs> is it as simple as that? Oh, I do have some I people that have. Ask you to convey to the Duchess that I. Would I don't know if you don't like ESO or now. Assassin's Creed. Your I don't know if you like this game. Chance. Unless if you like story <laughs> and making choices and things like that. But I mean, for fifteen dollars, I would say it's kind of worth trying out at least. Oh God. A lot of enemies are three hits on the EP. I mean, I figured it would be... I didn't think it would be that easy. <laughs> That's okay. You were to stay where you were. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Regis? I... you all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear. Having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain... Been person. enjoying the Division games? Somewhat better shape now, yes. As you can see. This is a lot of fun. Hardly peak four, mind you, but were I human... For One day, if they make a big update to I'm sorry. Division 2, I'll what go happened? back. It was my fault. But Never got a chance to apologize. there hasn't been anything for a while. No need, Bygones. Nothing good not enough for me to return, I don't think. No one twisted my arm. But I, I did love that game, playing through it the first time. I like the first game a little more. I can see that. I did like the gameplay for the second one more, Local but I enjoyed the. You. I like them about probably about, about the same. Him to stop murdering. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as that laugh can be rather stubborn. I can't wait for Watch Dogs. That neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend. You might call it that, though. That laugh is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. What reason could he possibly have? So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely could you ever be a witcher? Well, due to the fact convince him of the error of that to ways. say three out of ten survive, Got probably no. In the guy. Despite appearances <laughs> to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. I'd rather be a blacksmith the year for a witcher. <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. 
Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. Now, if I was 100% guaranteed to survive, possibly. His snares ...and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. I see why it's called it's blood and wine. Renders are so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd. Do you trust him? So? Yeah. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the so far, of yeah. vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Gotta find him. Before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then. Just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All He's right. All? Sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. That's pretty cool. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses. Love the glasses on your Witcher. I got them off in an auction. Where is the beast? In the last DLC. About to inspect this. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unavenged. I kind of put them on as a joke at first, but then I was like, you know what? This kind of fits. I've changed the outfit for him like multiple times with better gear and uh, this one's the woven armor and it kind of just like it it works. <laughs> I like the way it looks. I also have this mask from the last DLC too. Kind of wish there was more accessories like that but I don't know what, what other accessories he put on. Okay. So we need to meet Regis. Where's the uh, closest available quest location you can bring quest tied to a blood and wine mansion? Are they the red quest? Is wait what? I thought that would be a secondary quest. Ah, it just shows you the area. But sir, I'll probably get a quest sir, from being here. You, oh, I remember this. Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. It said in the beginning that you would get a letter. <laughs> he looked at the camera. Here's your tip. Here. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be off surface again. 
My friends always get mad at me because I never care about being strong. I just want my characters to look fly. Me too. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I literally I wore a map I found in the book I the starting found. armor until level 20. Legible, I trust it will prove useful <laughs> nonetheless. Because I didn't I like any other ones. Could prove of some importance to you. Thus, I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Your Yen. Mm, a professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. And then I, I, I dyed the uh, the armor here all black, so it looks pretty cool. Two. Uh. Okay. So fast travel point right there, and then we need we can go all the way over to the cemetery with him. Actually, is there a armor or something? It's also have rewards for contracts. Interesting. There's an innkeep, alchemy supplies. Nothing else I see. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There, there is one armor set that I like more. This, I would say, this is my second favorite. Um, there's one armor set that's very bulky, but it looks so cool in my, in my opinion. Um, I have it in my stock or my stash in a different location, but I, I think it was really cool. I really liked it, like when I first started wearing it. Oops, I kind of went the wrong way, but. Let's uh, let's see if we can chat with this guy. Also, was that it? Okay, so that was the secondary quest. What is that? The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chain. Uh. Don't crowd around. All right, sir. Best steel. Put me away. That's a cool looking uh, sword. I think these are like higher levels. Yeah, forty-two. But it does less damage than my current sword. How about these? Uh, they still do less damage. Buy some maroon stones. I think these are better. Yeah, because they're they're glowing behind them. These are probably just like basic ones. I'll buy the this kit. Weapon kit. Master. Repair, yeah, it's repair equipped. Sure, everything's repaired. Dismantle, don't really care about. We could dismantle these though, sure. What is this? Dismantle into crafting components, really? We're just gonna dismantle the broken mask of Erbos? <laughs> I wish all games had the ability to infuse items so you could keep the same look but have that extra power. Yeah, that, that's one thing that I I, no. I feel like there's right. literally, I mean, maybe a lot of times it's like just the way the game is created, but I feel like nowadays, like practically every game should definitely have that if it is some sort of RPG game. I think you should always be able to if you don't like the look of the armor, if it's going to have better stats, you should be able to uh, keep the look of a different armor. 
and use the new one. Because it's just like, if the person doesn't want to change the style, that's fine. If they do, like me, um, then yeah. Destiny is a perfect example of a game that needs it so bad. And I don't know if they ever did an update for it, but if it had it, uh, it would make the game so much better. Because sometimes you get some armor that looks cool, but it doesn't age. It, it's less stats it's than the other. That's the one thing that I hated. Oh god. Bro, how is that thing all the way over there shooting me? Ow. Okay. Got it. Um, before we run inside, uh, I just want to grab some water, run to the bathroom, and then I'll be good. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, my power level would always be low because I want, didn't want to change my look. Exactly. Like, and a lot of times you can get, like, cool looking stuff. Like, I remember in Destiny, I would get, like, the, uh, there was, like, a, a gauntlet that was, like, a sunstone looking thing. It like had the the fire of the sun in it and I hated swapping it out but like the next time I got logged into the game like you had to swap it out for better gear I, I hated that too but um hold on I'll be right back and then